Hello, fellow guitar geeks. I have a humongous first world guitar problem. I've got too many amps. Now, I know there's no such thing as too many pedals, too many amps, too many guitars. It's a wonderful problem to have. However, what I really mean is that when I make my videos for you guys, I generally tend to just use the Fender Deluxe Reverb because switching everything out into the cabs is a royal pain in the neck. I fixed that problem. I got myself an amp switcher. It's basically a control hub for all the amps, the cabs, the load boxes, the effects loops, and the guitars. And what it means is I can route any guitar and pedal board to any amp with any effects loop and any of my cabs down here. It means that I can bring you better videos. Being guitar geeks, I thought you might also be interested in having an amp switcher, so I figured I'd make a video of me installing it in my studio. It is the KHE Audio Electronics ACS 4x4FX, he says reading it on the back, meaning that you can put up to four amps, up to four cabs, and you can have an effects loop from each of the amp linked to this. Rather than tell you anymore, I probably just best that I show you. So here is how I'm gonna be using my KHE amp switcher. I have four main amps that I use on the channel and sometimes switch in some combos if I'm demoing amps. However, the amps I use are the Fender Deluxe Reverb, the SV20 from Marshall, which is almost always attenuated, the Fireball 25 from Engel, and the Rocker 15 Terror from Orange. The reason I have these amps is I think they give me a, a very wide palette of tones available and they react differently with pedals as well. So having this switcher means that I can bring you better videos, you can hear more sound samples, I get to have more fun, and um, I don't have to get out of my chair either. <laughs> okay, that's done. I recommend you do the same thing. Here's the front of the amp switcher, and this is where you can plug a guitar in. I'm not going to be, and I'll explain in a moment. This is where you select the amp, so that would be the Fender Deluxe Reverb, the Marshall SV20, uh, the Engel, and the Orange. Then we've got the effects loop on or off. I'll explain that in a moment. Then you can choose which cabinet you want. So I'm going to go um, Marshall cabinet. No, I'm gonna go Orange cabinet, Harley Benton cabinet, Marshall cabinet, and then in here, I'm gonna put the cap to X so I can record directly to my computer, should I wish to do that, because I often do. If we flip it round to the back, you can see there are lots of places to put cables, and that needs a little bit of explaining. There are quite a few connections to be made on the back, as you'd expect, so every amp has an input, every amp has an output, three of the four amps have effects loops, and we're using three cabs, and as I said, the cap to X, so that's four outputs. And this is how I'm gonna cable it. Let's move over there. Um, Starting, I'm putting the guitar in here. So you've got two guitar inputs. And you can put the, uh, so you can connect that permanently. That's gonna be around the back of the amp, going to the pedal board that I use at the front. But then if I were to plug something into here, uh, that takes priority. So that would defeat what I've got going on in the back, which I think is very cool. Next up are the amplifiers. So you've got both an input and an output from each amp. They're labeled just here, so one, two, three, four. So for example, this is my Fender Deluxe Reverb. I'm gonna go from here to the input of the Fender Deluxe Reverb and around the back of the amp from the amp out into there, not into a cab. Same with the Marshall, so into the amp, out of the amp, into the amp, uh, of into the angle, sorry, and then out of the angle, then into the orange and out of the orange. So that's just the amp input and output. Now I need to connect the cabs. So if I move that across like that, this is gonna be my orange cab, so that goes directly from here to the orange cab. Then we've got the, the Harley Benton, the Marshall, and the Captor. At this point, when I connect this up and I select uh, amplifier one, that's gonna route the Fender Deluxe Reverb to uh, say cab two, which is the Harley Benton, as if this doesn't exist. That's the whole point of this. Okay, so I've made a mistake, and this is why I reread the manual, and I recommend that you always read the manual when it comes to important things like this that could blow up if you get it wrong. Uh, and that's honestly true. I was going to use output four to go directly to the Captor X, which is the attenuator, the IR loader, the virtual cabinet, and the load box, and then use that to record directly to my audio interface. It turns out I don't need to. There's a feature that I didn't know existed, even though I read the manual twice before I made this video. This is something called the S-Line Send and S-Line Return, so it's a loop, and it goes in between the selected amp and the selected cab 
which is exactly where you can put an attenuator and the manual the manual recommends that's where you do put an attenuator because you can attenuate all of the amps or if I'm using the Captor X I can use it as an attenuator plus I can use it to record directly to my audio interface which is what I'm going to do as well as mics on all the other cabs just so you know. Then back down to here is the effects loop send and return so that will go from there's no effects send and return on the Fender Deluxe Reverb so that'll be the FX loop for the Marshall for the Engel and for the Orange. That means I can share all my time based effects such as one of my favorite pedals the Flint from Strymon the Reverb and the Tremolo. I can share that with every effects loop um, which is amazing so that's actually blown my mind that I finally get to use this without having to plug it in the back of every amp because uh, you might have noticed it's been sitting there for a while doing nothing. And the final piece of awesome convenience and top tier tone is the tuner output, meaning that I can have that all there behind me and I don't need to have anything in front of me. So I have more space at the front here on this, this desk and uh, more space for more pedals. Yay! So I'm going to be plugging in this, the Strobo Stomp HD from Peterson, which is my favorite tuner into the tuner out and it's going to go there behind me so you and I can always see it and check that I'm always in tune. Van dabby dozy. It's going to be kind of hard to film me plugging it in because it's all going to be on the back of the wall so just imagine that I'm, I've plugged it all in and I'll show you somehow some kind of look at the back when it's all plugged in and all wired correctly etc etc. So here I go. Hello there. So Guess who has two thumbs and seriously underestimated the amount of time it would take to cable all this together? This guy. <laughs> yeah, that took a long time and indeed more cables than I ever thought I had. Of course, logically, you need a heck of a lot of cables to achieve what I'm trying to achieve. You've got uh, three effects loop, that's six cables. You've got uh, eight speaker cables and then a whole load of other stuff. And I didn't even think about most of it. so. This and even to get it tidy. So this is me after you know next day shirt and everything. Um, after getting it slightly tidy, I'm still not happy with it. It still needs improvements, but I'm going to show you what it sounds like to be able to switch between one of four amps uh, instantaneously and and three cabs. But I've only got the mic on the Harley Benton at the moment, so now I need to make some more gear upgrades. Which is the thing with gear. Once you start, you, you can't stop. Anyway, here is the Fender Deluxe Reverb. <laughs> And now if I want the same guitar and, and whatever through the Marshall, all I have to do is flip this little dip switch and that's going to send the Marshall through the Harley Benson cab as well. Back to the Fender. Why not try the angle? Okay, that needs some more tone setting up on that. That was a bit muffled. Sorry, Engel. Um, and then the orange, which is a, li a little bit crispy clean. And then, of course, I've got all the other channels on the amp, so I can go to the, the dirty channel on the orange. The Marshall for a different kind of dirt. And of course, I can turn all the amps off by doing that. And then I've got the Flint from Strymon providing me with the reverb. Select an amp. Not on the Fender Deluxe Reverb, of course, because that doesn't have an effects loop, but every amp, uh, all the other three amps, are sharing an effects loop. And I can tune. Tune! I can silently tune by having no amp selected. And there we go. And um, I'm going to leave you there because I know I'm going to come back with some more thoughts on this new setup. Uh, I haven't even tried the Captor X yet. I know it's accepting signal, but I haven't set it up with my audio interface because currently um, I've run out of inputs, I realized this afternoon because I've plug something else in but never mind I will come back to you with an update and um, hopefully 
I think this has leveled up my channel considerably and leveled up my guitar experience because I can now switch three different tones. I like that. And I absolutely recommend that if you have a selection of amps to do the same because it is brilliant fun. And um, depending on how the mood takes me, all I've got to do is switch on all my amps and then flip a couple of switches. I can do the different cabinets, but you won't be able to hear it just um, yeah, properly. Hang on, it's going to come through the vocal mic. So there's the Harley Benton. Um, say with the Marshall. That's the orange. And the Marshall. And my tail is joining into the background through some sympathetic vibrances. Uh, yeah, so well done for making it to the end of this fairly short video. To prove that you did make it to the end and that you are indeed a member of the End of the Video Club, when you leave your comment down below this video, please include the phrase, More is more. And that'll let me know that you made it this far. Thank you very much to KHE Audio Electronics for sending out the switcher. I'm going to be having a lot of fun with that. And thanks to you guys for watching. And, and thanks, thanks to me for, for putting all this hard work in shouldn't thank yourself in a video that's ridiculous anyway um i'll see you very very soon i hope that you enjoy you know the other content that you can see on the channel go check that out bye bye